We recommend at this point that you recheck the internal dimensions, width and projection, and check the measurements across the internal corners, which should be the same. Silicone seal the gaps between the front of the eaves beam external trim, P6024, and the front of the windows to create a watertight seal. Position the eaves beam centrally on top of the windows. The inside face of the overhang will sit against the front face of the panels, and the end of the eaves beam will be flush with the outer face of the side panels. Once assembled on top of the panels, drill through the eaves beam only, using a long-reach 5mm drill 100mm from the edge of each window. The first holes from the end of the eaves beam should be at 170mm to ensure it's fastened into the window. Power drive the fixing screws through the holes in the eaves beam and into the head of the window. The furring adapter will be pre-fitted to the bottom of the furring. To fit the furring, lift into place. Locate the connector hook with an inner window leg and rotate, pushing firmly to engage the inner legs of the window with the legs of the connector. Ensure the location legs interlock with the windows and butts up against the eaves beam and wall. Position the quarter turn buttons horizontally into the gap between the furring and the panels. Turn to lock. Ensure the first quarter turn button is positioned within 50 mm from the front face of the furrings. Position the buttons every 400 mm along the length, both inside and out. Wall plate installation. Before positioning the wall plate, measure the distance between the furrings and cut the wall plate under cladding accordingly. Slide the under cladding onto the wall plate. Rest the wall plate in the notch of the furring and position centrally. It should be approximately 5 mm back from the furring top cap at each end. Run a bead of silicone along the furring top cap to prevent water ingress. Fit the starter bar onto the bolts situated on the wall plate and eaves beam. The starter bar will sit against the upstand of the furring top cap. This helps locate the position of the starter bar correctly. Repeat for the other side of the roof. To permanently fix the wall plate to the wall, first drill through along the wall plate with an 8mm masonry drill through the wall plate and into sound masonry. Fix the wall plate with a 60mm fixing bolt. Don't fully tighten. Allow slack for rotation. Check the level of the wall plate with a spirit level before permanently tightening. Once level, Permanently fix the wall plate by fitting the remaining 60mm fixing bolts at 600mm centers along the plate and ensuring that the first and last ones are positioned 100mm from the end of the wall plate. Some fixings shown in this DVD are for studio build only. Please refer to your installation guide for the correct fixings required. Permanently tighten the M5 flange nuts on the bolt. Attach the starter bars to the furrings with the 32mm screws along the starter bar. The first screw must be 100mm from the inside face of the eaves beam. Start at one side of the roof, working across to the opposite side. Remove the protective film from the bar undercladding. Fit the main bars onto the bolts situated in the wall plate and eaves beam. Loosely thread on the M5 flange nuts. Continue to fix all remaining bars. Check that they are perpendicular to the eaves beam and set at the correct distance. Tighten the flange nuts when all distances have been checked against the roof plan. Primary seal to host wall. Self-adhesive flashing tape is included in your conservatory kit. This product is suitable for use where the host wall is flat and even, for example face brickwork. The tape is provided as a means of temporarily sealing the conservatory from water ingress. Although the flashing tape, if applied in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions, can function for many years, it's not a long-term substitute for traditional lead flashing. We would recommend that you employ an experienced builder to carry out lead flashing works during the construction of your conservatory or at some time in the near future.
Roof Glazing Installation If your glazing material is polycarbonate, it's important to note that the surface, which is protected by the printed polythene film, is the surface that is on the outside of the conservatory. Each roof glazing sheet is labelled with the corresponding number on your roof plan. Please note that if your conservatory roof has glass roof glazing sheets, some may require jointing with muntin bars. See the muntin bars section for instructions on how to install, as well as the back of the installation guide.